All right, guys, so after downloading the reference image that I provided for you guys in this description of this video, we can start importing it so we can start working on the tracks. And we're going to uh, put it on this plane right here, this left, uh, this YZ plane here. And let's flip it and let's select the universal scale. And I want to just scale this by um, 1.570. And we're going to select this arrow right here, this up arrow. And we're going to enter the values negative um, 3.795. That'll bring us down. Now I'm going to select this uh, right arrow once we're done with that. And we're going to enter the values 1.387. And that should line us up perfectly matching the reference. Now I want to quickly turn off this bodies layer here so we can create a sketch on this plane. And what I want to first do is just start uh, using the line tool and following this reference, this line. And this is uh, pretty simple. So wherever you see a, a arc or the line starts to change its form, we're just going to discontinue that and go to the next area. So here we're going to skip that, that arc, go straight to this corner here and just go straight down to follow the line. And once you see it start to uh, change a bit again, we're going to just go to the opposite side and just follow this all the way through. And once satisfied, we just right click, hit OK to close this out and then I will be switching over to the, uh, the arc tool. So let's go to create arc three point arc and we're just going to go uh, from corner to corner and match that reference. This is pretty simple but um, we're all going to get different shapes because there, we didn't actually put any uh, exact measurements so what we'll do is use this trim and we'll trim off the lines here and we'll go to the fillet icon and we'll just round off any sharp corner so we'll click it right click hit OK and we have the um, the custom measurements inside so all I'm doing is right clicking going up to repeat the last function and then we're just selecting these corners and then there's an automatic value that's entered in there which is the highest point we can actually fill it at now we're complete. Now we can go to finish sketch. And I also want to go back to uh, sketch mode and select that background once again. And, we'll, and I want to start working on uh, the tracks. So we'll use the two point rectangle and we'll just outline this, uh, this center rectangular shape, excluding the fillets because we'll use this uh, fillet icon shortly after that. And we'll grab all of these corners. So we'll have the exact same fillet measurement going all the way around. Now we can just finish sketch. Well, actually, we'll just press pull this actually, and let's return to the front view and turn on our body so we can have a reference point. And I just want to extrude this by negative 5.536. And I am using millimeters, guys. So if you guys aren't on the same uh, metric unit as I am, you might get something a bit different. Now we're going to go to the bodies layer, right click, and go to move. And I just want to move this out. And uh, it doesn't have to be exactly where I did it, but I just gave it a little bit of space. So it, has, it looks like it's actually functional. Now let's find, so we'll hit OK. And what I want to do now is go back to the left view. And I want to pattern this around that uh, first triangular uh, line we have here. I'm going to select our body, which will be this body here. Ensure some bodies, not faces. And for the line, we're going to just choose this for the path. We're going to drag this arrow all the way around. And you might have to go the opposite direction depending on where you started. And let's change this uh, direction. So we'll change it to path. Now it matches it a bit better. And let's change the quantity from 3 to 30 to match the reference a bit better. There you are. Add a 0 to that. And there we go. That is fine. Now we can hit OK to finalize that. And now it's a good time to dial back on the timeline to right before we did that pattern on path to create those uh, bodies. And let's toggle off this arm so it doesn't interfere with uh, what we're going to do now. And that's select this surface here on top and create a sketch. And this is where you get to be more creative and do whatever kind of design you want. And you can get it how advanced you want with this original. Right now, I'm just using a two-point rectangle, and what I'll do is uh, just double-click it to select it, and I'll Control-C, Control-B to duplicate that, and slide the other one to the opposite end of it. 
and you guys can do whatever and get it as advanced as you need to and I'm just gonna press pull these through the bottom so it creates those cuts and if I fast forward on the timeline you'll see that this has been applied to all of the other patterns now what I want to do is uh, kind of connect these because there's so many bodies right now so I'll select this surface and create a sketch and I might want to toggle off this arm that's actually in my side of view right now so I'll just drop down the bodies figure out what this arm is and toggle that off now I'll use the two-point rectangle to create a, a giant rectangle that basically links all of these bodies together so when I combine them they'll all be one because I don't intend on doing anything with this model this is just a uh, good modeling practice what we're doing here with this uh, Wally now once we have the shape we need that extrudes through both of these we'll select the profiles both of them and then we'll right click press pull and then we'll just pull it through the middle area change it from cut to new body and then we'll go to the left view as well but I also want to uh, right click on the body and then go to move and then uh, I'll select the pivot and change it to the surface so we're actually uh, going the same way as the reference let's just pull this in so it's more towards the middle and not the top and then what we'll do with this is uh, create a pattern just like we did earlier with the uh, with the tracks would we'll repeat that same method so we have our body which is that one we just created and the path will be that outline of that triangular shape of the the tracks and we'll just drag this all the way down so it intersects with this first two bodies change the direction so it's uh, it actually follows the path and then remember before for the tracks we use 30 so we also have to have this quantity as 30 as well and let's hit OK to finalize that and let's start going to combine and I'll combine uh, the first body here and then I'll select the body underneath it and then I'll hold shift and select the last body which will select all of them ensure it's on join and hit OK now they're all one body. Now let's right click on this body and go to isolate so we only see that body by itself and turn back on the canvas. So let's hit this drop down and ensure our reference is up. And what I want to do is just add this little rectangular shape at the top. And you guys don't have to do this. You can do whatever design you want, but this is just what I'll do. So I created a sketch and um, I'm just going to use my two point rectangle to outline this shape. Now I'll right click hit OK and I'll just press pull this to the back side of the body. So I'll just click the back face and it's going to automatically reference that that width. And I'll change it from join to new body just to ensure that it's not just one. So I'll actually be able to create duplicates. Let's go to modify split body. And I'm going to split this body by the uh, interface. So I'll left click and hold so I can select this surface here and I'll do the same on the opposite end. So I'll hold, I'll left click and hold and go down till I find that surface. And let me just rotate to you guys and see what's going on. It's just going to split this body into three pieces and we only need the middle. So what we'll do is go over to the bodies on the left and we'll right click and select both of these bodies we don't need and remove them. Now we're left with that piece alone. Now what I want to do is go to create sketch on this surface and I could use a two point rectangle here but I think it'd be better if I use the offset and just select this border here and then downscale this. Now I don't care about the inside area I just want to uh, get to something around here so I can switch to my line tool and I'll just go from this left corner down right click hit OK and I'll repeat that function and go down from here now I have two uh, profiles in the middle I can press pull to extrude through the back end so I have a nice little cutout shape and this isn't too much detail but I think it's necessary to have a little bit of intricacy now what I want to do is toggle back on that sketch that shows that path that triangular uh, little path sketch that we created earlier and I want to go to create pattern and then pattern on path ensure the pattern type is body not faces select our body here and for the path will be that 
that sketch again and we'll go all the way around like we did previously. So I'll change that path direction. We'll change the quantity to 30. Let's just go in a bit closer so we can match this a bit better. And that looks fine right about here. And let's hit OK. And now we just have to combine all of these together again. Select our main body. Now we can select our little first body, then shift select the last one. And ensure it's on join and hit OK. Now they're all one body. So we can take this out of isolation now. So we'll right click, go to unisolate. And then we can go to create mirror. And we can just mirror this on the other end just so you can see what it looks like. And I think I'm satisfied with these results for now. And hopefully uh, I didn't go too fast or too slow. And uh, what we'll do next is uh, we'll start working on some of the details and the gears on the inside of the, the tracks. Catch you guys in the next one.